Imagine a society in which every person is ten times smarter than Einstein. Can read a book of 500 pages and memorize every word. It has 100% immunity to most diseases, and its lifespan is unlimited. This sounds like science fiction, but scientists consider the creation of such people as a very real goal, achievable in the 21st century. And since mankind will sooner or later engage in colonization of other planets, such superhumans and long livers simply did not get around. How will they show up? It all starts with artificial intelligence. To create such a person, genetic engineering would not be necessary. For this to happen, humanity must make serious progress in bioinformatics. It is a science at the intersection of computer science, math, biology, genetics, and chemistry. Simply put, we need to collect a huge database of how genes work and what changes in the body when they are mutated. There are 20,000 genes in each DNA molecule. Each can have an unknown number of mutations, and each mutation can affect different people differently. Moreover, genes are less than 2% of a DNA molecule. How the other 98% work for scientists is still a mystery. To solve it can only be solved by artificial intelligence, much more powerful than the currently existing intelligence system. Yes, it looks a little more complicated than Peter Parker getting bitten by a radioactive spider, but it's going to get more interesting from here on out. Molecular scissors. Creaseport K9, also called molecular scissors, is considered the most advanced genome editing technology to date. This is truly revolutionary technology. She literally turned DNA into a Lego constructor. With molecular scissors, you can easily find the sections of DNA you need, cut genes out of it, edit and paste them back in, and replace them with artificial genes, or those cut from other DNA. Strong muscles and smart brains. You've probably met people who have a lot of muscle mass, not due to athleticism, but due to genetics. Such people have a mutation in just one MSTN gene that decreases myostatin protein production. This protein suppresses muscle growth, so the less of it your body produces, the better your muscles grow. Thus, to create a person with big and strong muscles, only one gene needs to be edited. However, with smart brains, things are much more complicated. Scientists have already identified 74 gene mutations responsible for intelligence and continue to discover more. This means that to create a person with a high IQ would require serious editing of their DNA. Now the main thing is, how can a person acquire all these beneficial mutations? Can a person with an IQ equal to 1000 be born naturally? It looks like that's not possible. In most people it ranges between howling 5 and 15. An IQ of 160 or higher is considered a rarity. Historians believe that Empress Cleopatra reached 80, and the smartest of the famous people is considered the American prodigy, William James Sidus. He graduated from Harvard at 16, spoke 25 languages, but even his IQ didn't exceed 300. The existence of a person with an IQ equal to a thousand seems utterly impossible. But scientists believe that such a person could well emerge by artificially recoding their DNA, and geneticists are already learning how to do this. How to extend human life to a thousand years. So, our superhuman of the future must not only be smart and strong, but also live a long life, at least a thousand years, and better if he does not age at all. This is one of the main goals of genetic engineering. First of all, everyone wants to live a long time, and secondly, again, it is impossible to colonize other planets without it. The distances to the nearest habitable planets are so great that present-day humans will grow old and die before they get halfway there. Scientists believe in success. And here are the technologies that will help them. Printing organs and tissues on a 3D printer. This technology is now being actively developed. Scientists are confident that before 2050 years, people will begin to implant printed blood vessels, skin, cartilage, and nerve tissue. In the future, this technology will not only prolong but also save lives, such as in heart attacks, oncology, and accidents such as car accidents. Today, serious damage to the heart, liver, and pancreas is almost always a verdict. Donor organs are usually not available, but even if they are, they may not take root in someone else's body. The printed organs will be created based on the recipient's DNA, which means the body will treat them as its own. While artificial organs are being attempted to be printed today, the next technology exists only in theory, although its prospects are terrific. Telomerase gene editing. 
We age because our cells can't divide indefinitely. With each division, they shorten their telomeres, the end sections of their chromosomes. When telomeres completely disappear, the cell loses the ability to divide, which means that sooner or later it will die, leaving nothing behind. As cells die, organs and tissues turn into a sieve at the molecular level. Actually, that's what aging is. However, some of our cells synthesize the enzyme telomerase, which has been called the key to cellular immortality. Telomerase maintains telomere length, allowing cells to divide as many times as they wish. Most of our cells do not produce telomerase, so the challenge for geneticists is to find a gene mutation that will recode a person's DNA so that all of their cells produce this life-giving enzyme. The cells of such a genetically modified person will divide for however long they want. Tissues and organs will remain young, and life expectancy will increase manifold. And perhaps such people will never know what old age is. But there is a big spoon of tar in our honey barrel. Cells in the brain, heart, and some endocrine glands hardly ever divide. Therefore, scientists plan to artificially grow cells of these organs from stem cells, and then implant them into the organs, thus rejuvenating them. In addition to the above-mentioned technologies, life extension will be facilitated by the development of pharmaceuticals, namely super-effective drugs with narrowly targeted action without side effects. Nanomedicine is also expected to develop in the future. Microscopic robots will be inserted into the body to find and repair damaged body structures. With gene editing, it is potentially possible to make humans free of most serious diseases, the number one challenge for modern geneticists. People of the not-too-distant future, what abilities will geneticists endow them with? The genes for longevity, high IQ and superpowered immunity will probably be wanted by most, but geneticists of the future will be able to endow humans with many other superpowers. For example, genes for resistance to anxiety and depression will be invaluable to people susceptible to these disorders, such as teachers, doctors and police officers. The ability to quickly recover from injury and even grow new limbs will be needed by firefighters, miners, construction workers, industrial climbers, and again, police officers. What if people wanted to build buildings or even entire cities at the bottom of the ocean? Divers will be needed who can go without oxygen for long periods of time and withstand tremendous pressure. Finally, Antarctica will be habitable. People with frost resistance genes would love to settle there. Global challenges will also be addressed. Pollution in nature is already causing toxins to seep into food, drinking water, and many are breathing polluted air. Geneticists will be able to provide humans with enzymes that will break down toxic substances, and then they will simply stop affecting people's health. The issue of microplasticity is now being actively discussed. Perhaps geneticists will discover genes that will allow humans to break down polymers. Then the people of the future, after drinking water from a bottle, will be able to eat the bottle itself. There's food. Which one? Plastic. And if the task of colonizing new planets is to be seriously explored, future colonizers will need all these qualities and many more. For example, the ability to go without food and water for long periods of time and hibernate like bears do. Then during long flights on spaceships, you could just enjoy sleeping and absolutely people could use radiation resistance. Astronauts may not be afraid of it as long as they are within the Earth's magnetic field, but outside of it, a person will face the ordeal of cosmic radiation emitted by the Sun and other stars, from which even the hull of the spacecraft will not protect. Upon arriving on a new planet, humans can face a variety of challenges. What if the gravity on it is twice as strong as Earth's? Then it can only be colonized by incredibly hardy humans with well-developed musculature. That's where the MTN gene mutation comes in handy. People with superpowers are among us. Genetic anomalies that give people superpowers often appear on their own, without any intervention from geneticists. New York's Scott Flansburg is known as the Calculator Man. He's in the Guinness Book of World Records for his speed of calculations in his mind. 34-year-old American Jill Price is celebrated as the woman with the world's best memory. Thanks to genetic features, she perfectly remembers not only every day, but even every minute and the smallest details of her life since she was 11 years old. No one has been able to break the records of world sprint champion Usain Bolt for years. Many believe that the athlete is unbeatable precisely because of genetics. His muscles contain a large number of fast fibers. Veronika Zeider from Germany has the sharpest eyesight in the world. 
a woman is able to recognize a person by face at a distance of more than one and a half kilometers. Stephen Pete of Washington, D.C. has a genetic mutation that has made him insensitive to pain. Daniel Browning Smith from Mississippi was nicknamed the Rubber Boy because of his genetic traits. His ligaments and tendons are so elastic that no gymnast can compete with him. Daniel has already set seven Guinness World Records. Tim Dreyer from South Africa has super dense bones. He's fine with fractures. Daniel Kish, who lost his sight as a child, has an amazing ability to echolocation, which allows him to bike through crowded streets and walk steep mountain trails without assistance. Genetically modified people today. In most countries of the world, including Russia, permission to edit the human genome before birth is not granted. This makes sense because genetics is still developing and no one can predict the consequences of gene editing yet. One has to consider that the altered genes will not only be possessed by one person but also by their children, grandchildren and great-grandchildren and in the future this will bring irreversible and unpredictable changes to the human species. Russian molecular biologist Denis Rebrikov tried to get permission in 2019 to edit the human genome to rid a future child of hereditary deafness. However, the Ministry of Health responded by refusing to do so, as it reasonably considers such a practice to be premature. However, despite the bans, genetically modified people already exist. In the 18th year, Chinese geneticist He Jiankui altered the genome of two twin girls at the fetal stage without authorization in order to make them immune to HIV, for which he was sentenced to three years in prison. What will the emergence of edited people lead to? So imagine a future world in which millions of people with superpowers have emerged. What problems will arise in doing so? Let's be realistic. The first problem. Many people, for various particularly religious reasons, will refuse to genetically modify their children. Which means the world will be divided into normal and enhanced humans. The latter will be more successful socially and financially, which means there will be conflicts between the two types of people. The second problem. Already the ethical question is acute. Is it possible to make changes to a person's DNA before they are even born, given that you can't get their consent beforehand? The third problem is that genetic engineering may begin to be used for destructive purposes, such as creating invulnerable soldiers. Fourth problem. If people stop aging and dying, our planet will be in big trouble due to overpopulation. Hence the conclusion, creating genetically enhanced humans requires an incredible level of responsibility and planning for the consequences. And, no less importantly, the realization by humanity of its common destiny. This content is for informational and educational purposes only. Consult with a doctor or healthcare professional before following any recommendations provided in this video. Tell us about your experience in the comments and subscribe to our channel.